Hello everybody, it's Brenda. Welcome to my new show. It's called DIY Do It On A Dollar. That's where we can do crafts for cheap as possible. So today we're going to be making a mesh wreath. And I'll tell you what you need. Okay, let's get over here. Can you see it? Okay, what you will need for this is this mesh, any color you'd like. I got this mesh at, oh, I got this mesh at Michael's on clearance, Christmas clearance, 70% off. So that was reasonable. Let's see, it sells for $9.99 and I paid $2.50 for it. So that is cheap and reasonable. So well, I don't know exactly how many rolls, but I got two. Next thing you will need is pipe cleaners. You could either cut them in half or cut them in threes. Or if you prefer, you could use zip ties. Then you will need some garnish, flowers, ribbons, bows, whatever you have. I don't know what I'm gonna put on mine yet, but I have red ribbons, I have green ribbons, and pink ribbons. So anyway, to begin, we will open this mesh. Oh, this is 10 inch mesh, by the way. So what you do is you open the mesh and you take it and you just kind of gather it up. This is the easiest method, by the way, to do these. So you gather it up, you put it through the front, then you take it and you take your pipe cleaner, you put it through here, you put it through there. So you got it on the bar. And the bar that we'll be using is, let's say, make sure here. The bar that we'll be using is this second bar. So attach it to the second bar. Then I'll take it and I'll secure it a little bit here. Now you can use any color pipe cleaner because you won't see them in the end. People go out and they buy all kinds of pipe cleaners to match, not necessary. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna lay it down. And then some people use their mat because they have a mat, but other people use the trusty old ruler. So what I do is, now I will lay it down and I will take it to the mat, I'll take it to the one inch, to the inch mark anyway. <laughs> then I will take it to the six, six inches. Then you gather it up, just gather it up. Then you take a pipe cleaner, twist it around, just once or twice. Then you take it, you push it up, the same bar all the way around, you're gonna be twisting. Okay, then we'll go back, so we'll do six inches. <laughs> I think it's easier to have the pipe cleaners cut in threes, but that's what I have at the moment. So that's what I'm going to be using. Back. Remember, pull it to the six inches. And it doesn't have to be exact. Just to get an idea of where you're going. And you just keep on going. So this is my new show that I'm gonna be trying every week. 
So if you have any craft ideas that you can do that are very reasonable and cheap, let me know and we'll do them. We could actually do a live craft along. But anyway, you just keep going, going, going. Six, six, six inches. Now, on the other, on another show, I will be teaching you how to make ribbons, bows, so you can put on your wreaths. But today, we're just going to make the wreath. So this is how I do it. Snip this price tag thing off. I should have done that before I started. But hey, oops, not enough. Got it in the wrong, wrong one. <laughs> there you go. Keep going until you fill up your space, your spaces. <laughs> Six. Came off. Just keep going. Now this is mesh that I got, like I said, at Michael's. And Michael's, I bought it there for $9.99. Many of rolls of it but this was christmas clearance so i can use it on do it on a dollar diy do it on a dollar so in the comments below let me know how you like this video and if you think i should do one every week or a couple every week And I'm talking to you, Cynthia, Cynthia, Cynthia. And you know who you are. <laughs> so that's it. You just keep, keep going. And yes, I'm going to do the whole wreath, except for the decorations. And I'm going to make you sit here and watch them. Of course. See, when you watch me, I make mistakes. But hey, we like I said, we all aren't perfect. So let's do this. Yeah, that's better. Turn it around. Now, other people just take their mesh and just measure it and put the pipe cleaners on and then go ahead and put them on but I just prefer to go along do it as I just do it as I go along number six inches and I'll even have one show where I show you how to cut your mesh because when you cut mesh a lot of times it frays and if you do it the way you're supposed to do it, it may not fray. Especially the mesh from the Dollar Tree. And anybody wants to make wreaths, I suggest that you go for, to the Dollar Tree because that's where I get most of my craft supplies. And that's most of my ribbons, everything. Good old Dollar Tree. But we're not only going to make wreaths, we're going to do any crafts that we can do at a reasonable price. This is Christmas mesh, but I'm going to use it for Valentine's Day, and I think it's pretty. It's got snowballs on it. 
for two two fifty. That is very reasonable. Trust me. Right now, I'm trying to get green. It's hard to find. Like I said, people. Some people do it this way. They'll go. So I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you're enjoying my little video. And I hope you all have crafts that you want to do. Doing the same old craft all the time is just boring. Boring, boring, boring. So yeah, some people, oops, forgot that one. Some people do it that way. So yes, look, it's looking, looking pretty good. Maybe I should have some music playing. Six inches. Six, six, six. Six inches. Then I don't know. I might have to do around in the center because I don't know how much this mesh covers, but I probably will do around the center. Just gather it up. Everything else that I didn't get, everything but the mesh, I got at the Dollar Tree. Dollar, dollar, dollar tree. And when I say do it on a dollar, I don't mean do it on a dollar. I mean do it on the cheapest way we can. Thrifty, that's what I meant. So anybody who would like me to do something crafty, let me know in the comments and we'll find it and we'll do it. Yeah, this mesh went longer away than I thought. If I was using Dollar Tree mesh, it would probably take me five or six rolls to do this. This is covering good. It's great. Always after the holidays, don't forget to go to the stores and look for your clearance sale. Yep. 
This is, by the way, this is called the poof method. Method. That's what I call it anyway. The poof method. Hope y'all had a good new year. Like I said, let me know in the comments if you want this to be a regular show. Everybody does this different. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. No right way, no wrong way. It's your way. Whatever you feel. You might have a great way, you know. You never know until you try. So try, try, try. You can see what I am doing. There's some people out there that does not measure, who do not measure nothing. I don't know how they can do it. I do have it looking crazy. Crazy. So this is my first episode of this show. It's my first tutorial. I'm not good at explaining things. So I've never wanted to do a tutorial. But a lot of my friends on my regular viewers would like to see how to make a wreath. So here we go. Not hard at all. Not hard. And I'm new at this myself, so I'm going to make mistakes. <laughs> just looking for, I was just looking out for a hobby to keep me up, my mind off of my problems. And this is what I picked. So. And I kind of like it. I've always made uh, Christmas wreaths, but I made it out of greenery and stuff. But I've never made it out of anything else. You go out in the woods and you pick the pine and all that. You can do wonders with this stuff. Wonders. Isn't it? And if you don't know, Michaels is having their seven year Christmas blowout sale. They had they were one of the boats that were stuck out there in the harbor. And they didn't get their shipment till after Christmas. And they had all that, so they decided to do it 75% off. So I got some good deals, but they were only had the red mesh. They had a couple burlap colors and um, white. And that's all I had was a couple. Because I didn't know about the sale until the other day when my sister told me. Right now I'm having a hard time getting green. St. Patty's Day. But 
I ordered some from uh, craftoutlet.com, which is another reasonable place because they're always having something on clearance. Okay, I am at the end of my ruffle. Almost around it. I hope I don't have enough to go around the middle. Or maybe I won't go around the middle. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. Yeah, I'm going around the middle. I can see. Still see the frame. I can still see the frame. Bike cleaner dollar at the Dollar Tree. Our Dollar Tree has not went up as of yet. But my sister lives in Delaware and hers went up to a dollar twenty-five. So I have that much left. That's not enough to make a poof. So I will take it in there and cut it off. I'll probably cut it off more but right now I'm going to keep it where I can see it. Squeeze the wire a little bit. Okay. So there we're, we're working around. I'm a sloppy crafter. I let everything fall. Then I pick it up when I'm done. So there's my second roll. Coffee. It's getting cold. So I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna scrunch it. Try to keep it even. Oops, so there's my ribbon. I'm gonna wrap it around. I'm gonna come in here and pick up where we left off. Putting this excess piece in the back. When we're all done, we go around and we fix it. Fix all your pipe cleaners and make them look decent. Okay. Six. Six, six, six. Oops, stuck to my tablecloth. <laughs> And when, I'm, when I put the video out, I will put all your supply list in the bottom description box. If anybody tries this on their own and they need help, just email me, Instagram me, or instant message me six and I will be glad to help like I said I'm not a professional I'm not a professional video maker I'm just a person who's trying to get on with their life and keep yourself busy. That's it.
aqui passa a fazer. That's right. I'm not skipping ahead, making you watch it all. You can even get the wreath hangers at the Dollar Tree to hang the wreath, the hooks to hang the wreath on the door. At the Dollar Tree, and if you can't get to the Dollar Tree, PowerTree.com DollarTree.com bigger the longer that you measure like I do six if you measure ten it would be more poofy the longer the measurement the longer the poof Like I said, there's no right way, no wrong way. Everybody has their own way. I used to, don't, I used to work in a Christmas factory, sewing factory, make Santa suits and stockings and stuff. And everybody, what it was, it was piecework. And everybody had their own method of doing it because the faster you did it, the more you got paid. That's why everybody has to sit and think of their own method for their own good. Here. I don't like it down there. Oh, that's what it's doing. I don't like it down there. It's not getting the correct tension. Tension. Six. down to my last section. The worst thing about working with mesh is you see me struggle and it sticks to everything. But let me tell you something. This is not like that Dollar Tree stuff. Boy, that sticks to everything. It makes a mess. Oh, it's awful. That's why I use, if it's too bad, I use a wood burning tool if I have to cut it to keep it from fraying. 
You know, one of them tools that you um, burn wood with. You can kind of tell when you're going around. Like I hear people say, well, I got six in here, six in here, and now. Till it's full, that's when you do it. <laughs> Till it gets full. Other, like I said, the Dollar Tree mesh. Um, it's this is a ten inch. That's only six inches. So you would have to go around it twice, but I might not have to go around this twice. You know, to the middle. But like I said, I'll see when I get there. <clears throat> I mean, these don't take long to make either. And I think they're fun. Especially if y'all get, we all get together and do a live, a live craft along. That would be fun. And if I am going to do a live craft along, I will let you know what supplies you need, or if you want to do your own craft, it doesn't matter. Like I said, I'm a sloppy crafter. <laughs> a sloppy crafter. to the end of this road. Yes, yes, yes. We can even do a crochet along. Anything going along with this craft. Let's go, let's go. If anybody in the, in here is not subscribed, please pick each other up and grow your channel. That's what it's all about. It's quiet. Okay. Let's see what I feel like here. So, I still see some bear spots. So I think I might go around just what I need, not the whole thing. Let's see. I'll put one more poof in here. Oh, I might need a couple more. Might need a couple more poofs. There's one. I 
And yes, I talk to myself. One more. One more. For this row. To myself. It's all right. At least I'm not bothering nobody. <laughs> okay. So I have that like that. So I'm gonna turn it around. <clears throat> should I cut it off? Maybe I should cut it off. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it off. That means I will cut it off here. Now, poof this. Poof, poof, poof it. here put it through this wire that wire talking to myself hope y'all enjoying listening to me i can entertain you without showing you <laughs> okay so when we're good done we'll go back over and blend that in but there is the one row. So what I'm gonna do is like, take this, gather it up, put a little pipe cleaner on it, and just come in here. See this, the second one there? next to the one we just worked on. I know I'm not gonna have enough to go all the way around it. So what I'm gonna do is just do the bare spots and hope for the best. <laughs> all you can do is hope for the best. Got that. Just enough to fill it in. Heater won't shut off today. I hear it running. Okay, so get that in there. So this one. Stick it just up there. I'm talking to myself again. Now secure this so it don't move. Like take that pipe here and wrap it around as tight as you can. Probably put three poofs here. I'm not even going to measure them. Come on, give me a long one. So there's a poof. There's two. Tight, so we don't move. Tight, so it don't move. <laughs> Starting to stick now, so it'll get hard to work with. Sorry about 
about that, folks. Tight, tight because it'll move. I'm not going to fill up the space. So, uh, three poofs in that space. You kind of have to use your own judgment on this type of stuff. Just the mesh size sometimes is different. I'll take this one up right here. I'm going to do it tight so it don't move. I lost it. Oh, I lost it. I should have probably put all these in tighter, but I'm going to go back around and fix them. So, like I said, I didn't even measure these things, just guessing by time. Another section. Now my pipe cleaners are sticking to the other mesh. So what you would do when you're done, if you don't want to see all them pipe cleaners, is you could glue cardboard or felt on the back. I think I would rather use cardboard. Some people put felt because the cardboard is more sturdy. That's that story. Come on, come apart. Come on, stop sticking. Crazy wire. Uh -oh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to make it. Make it work. I will. I will. One poop there. One poop there. Here, poop there. Poop everywhere. Poof. We will make it work. 
somehow, some way. I'm running out of five fingers. <laughs> That's one thing you always have to do is keep a lot of pipe cleaners on hand. This one will go here. Come on, come on, let's go, go, go. So what I'm doing now, like I said, I'm putting them in on the inside of them. Looks like this is going to be my last poof. Uh, maybe I can get two out of it. I don't know. But if not, hey, that is where I'll put the ribbon. This one here. Yes, this will be fine. Take one of these out of here. That's what I'll do. You may have to go back and move stuff around to make it work. But I think it's pretty much going to work. Well, here's the right here. And when you get, you're going to be putting flowers or hearts or something on it. You're going to be decorating it, so that'll fill in any empty spots. It will, it will, I promise. So what you do, then you take and fix all these, tighten them, do what you got to do with them so they're not showing through. They're not sticking nobody. A lot of these are so long. I'm taking a whole handful of them and just tighten them up. But anyway, so after you tighten them up, and these are not tight yet, but I'll do it when I'm done. You should see these green pipe cleaner right there. Yeah. Cleaner and you have to have to twist it up here. Just keep messing with it till you get it the way you need it. I got to twist all them together. Twist all these together. And I'll go back and I'll cut them off. But anyway, after you get the back all fixed, you'll put cardboard or, um, oh, geez, felt, <laughs> felt. <laughs> Trying to get it so I can show you what to do in the front to get it. Okay. So. You will go back, show in there, come on, stop. So what you do is you'll go back and you'll take the poofs and you'll poof them, open them up like this. And it makes it so more fuller, like right here. Just keep pulling, pulling them out. Till you get it fluffy, fluffy as you need it. I really, I really wish they had more, but they only had two rolls of this. But we have another Michael. Maybe I'll take a ride there tomorrow. But keep going. 
you know, open, open them up, open your poofs, fluff them, even move them around because I see that the, some of the, some of the pipe cleaners are still loose. <clears throat> and when I tighten them up, you won't see them. But anyway, that's kind of what you do. Keep pulling, pull, 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 pull. pull. That's kind of how you do that. This, every one of them, because you know you pooped them and you gathered them up, pop them out, pop them out. Pulling and poofing, pulling and poofing. So that's what you get. You know, that's just what you get. And once you poof it, and once you get your decorations on it, you will have a nice, beautiful wreath. And to make a hanger, you can just take your pipe cleaner and just put it on. Now, we're not going to decorate today. So like I said, I'm going to come back another time and show you how to make ribbons. But I have these ribbons. Or maybe if you want green on it, pink. I got all kinds of ribbons. But anyway, and I got hearts and roses. But they will, I don't know if they'll go with that or not. I got these pink. They look a little gaudy. So I don't know what I'm going to be doing with that. But when I come back for my live, maybe tonight, I think I'm coming back tonight for a live. If you come, you'll see what I did with it. So, I hope you enjoyed my first tutorial video. I know I enjoyed doing it. So, thank you all for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. Like I said, all the supplies you need will be in the description box below. If you have any craft ideas that you would like us to try, we sure will. And if you would like to do this on a live, let me know that too. But please, everybody, if you do watch this, please comment because I want to know who's watching and who's not watching because if I don't get no comments, I won't know if it's a, if it's a success or I just should give up. So, thank you once again. Till next time.